One of the mouthpieces I really enjoy using on trombone for jazz purposes is this Vincent Bach Corporation Era Size 9. This is a fairly uncommon and specialized size made to produce a fluffy tone while still maintaining a little bit of bite, and so in my quest for something similar, I stumbled upon this in a drawer at Clearwater Music. The Yamaha Japan 47 listed in their catalog as the model SL47S. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey y'all, it's Sam here from the Samuel Plays Brass channel. Hope you're all doing well on this fine day and I appreciate you tuning in. Let's talk some more about the Yamaha Size 47. Here's what Yamaha says in their mouthpiece catalog about the size SL47S. Quote, outstanding endurance, rich tone suitable for ensembles and orchestras. Kind of a strange thing to say about a jazz trombone mouthpiece, but we'll work with it. Size-wise, this one's a little bit trickier to pin down than something like their 45C2, which is a very clear Bach 12C copy. This is a little bit different. It should, in theory, be just a little bit wider, much like a Bach 9. And I thought the no letter cup as opposed to the C cup would be a little bit deeper than the C, but this thing is pretty much equivalent to a Bach C cup. I don't know exactly about the inner diameter. Yamaha reports it to be pretty close to a Bach 7 or even their 6 and 3 quarter size, but this thing is definitely no larger than my Bach 9 in terms of inner diameter. In fact, I would say it's a little bit smaller. I feel like what I'm holding is pretty close to a Bach 11C, but with a wider rim. So there's less internal than I expected and more rim or external diameter. It's definitely a wider rim than on my 9, which is unfortunate for me because I don't do wide rims, generally speaking. My findings in the studio lined up pretty much perfectly with my initial sizing observations. This mouthpiece turned out to be immediately much brighter and less flexible than I'd hoped. I'd say the former is mostly due to that shallow cup and partially due to that thinner inner diameter. And the latter is partially due to that cup depth, but also due to the wide rim. I find I have really poor flexibility on wide rims, even if they do feel comfortable to play on, which is unfortunate. I found this mouthpiece to very easily produce a pointed and edgy sort of sound. It felt very comfortable in the high register up until just after high B-flat. Anything above high B-flat almost completely locked up and shut off on me, which was interesting. Ugh. I found the low and pedal registers to be slightly stuffy, especially in the outer positions of the slide. The trigger register wasn't patently worse than the pedal register, maybe a little bit so, but even those outer pedals, even though that is just a straight open tube through the whole instrument without the trigger engaged, it still felt a little weird and definitely was a little bit airy. It's not as though this mouthpiece can't possibly play ballads. I think it actually does a fairly good job of it, and it responds nicely uh, to your softer touch on trombone, but the sound is still just a little bit more focused than I would like. I like a little bit more spread and diffusivity in my ballad sound, if you will. Since my Bach 9 basically has the magic touch for any valved low brass instrument that takes a small shank mouthpiece, I'm talking baritones, valve trombones, and the like, I did have to test the 47 on my valve trombone there, and I found it responded really nicely. It's got very clear attacks and a ringing tone quality. And again, like on the slide trombone, it wasn't as soft and fluffy or diffuse as I prefer it to be on ballads, but it still did nicely with the valve trombone in that regard. Mm-hmm. 
As I said, I took this thing home from Clearwater hoping for a jazz combo or ballad type mouthpiece, but frankly I think it's better suited for the big band, where you can solo a little bit louder and more vigorously than in a combo setting, so I think it'll do better there. You know where this mouthpiece would do really well actually is the pep band, where you're playing really loud a lot of the time. It's a solid, comfortable size, and it's not going to dig into your lips if you're playing for long periods of time. So I think as a second mouthpiece that you keep in your case for things like pep band, it can actually do really well. And overall, it's not too bad of a size to use for things like jazz. It just wasn't quite as soft as I expected it to be. I came in with really high expectations, frankly, so I think it does fine. It's a fairly efficient mouthpiece as long as you're not playing several ledger lines in either direction above or below the staff. I think it does fine for those, you know, uh, what is that, like three octaves somewhere in the middle between pedal B flat and high B flat. So overall, I don't have too many more negative things to say about the Yamaha Japan 47. I enjoyed playing it a decent bit for what it's worth. I'll still be going back to my Bach 9, of course, but that's because it's just the, the magic sauce for me, if you will. That's not to say that this one won't be for you. In any case, if you want to check out more Mouthpiece Spotlights, you can find them in the playlist in the top right corner. Make sure that you're actually subscribed to the channel, unlike most of my viewers, if you want to see more of this type of stuff. It's the best way to ensure that you stay caught up on the channel. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to support the creation of bigger and better content on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, have your name featured right here, and a whole host of other perks and benefits, then please consider pledging your support at patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass. For now, you can find more videos in the end screen cards to my left.